Hello friends, in this video we're gonna see the further customization of our cross-section bands. Okay, so here we created our bands uh, in the previous tutorial. So as you noticed, it's showing at a regular interval and we are trying to, uh, at the top we are showing the level. So actually, uh, you know, this one maybe we may not need even if we can show it at each grade points okay grade break points if we can show it here then maybe we don't need these okay so for that what we can do let's say let's see what we can do if we can show at uh, each grade break point here the elevation proposed elevation the band would be just enough okay so that's what we will try in this uh, video try to so okay so for that let's uh, first select one of our cross sections we created and then uh, we go to the view group properties a uh, little bit zoom it a little bit and okay when we are in the view group properties we go to the change band uh, actually we are in a view group property maybe i just uh, apply for this particular section and then we can contrast also and then later we can apply to all of the, the cross section that will be better okay i will just select one and say go to section view properties and here on the bands here we have our existing band so now we are going to show at grade break points so i will just modify this one i'll just right uh, click on that and then i will just uh, create a copy of the current selection okay so this brings this particular dialog and then i will just uh, rename it so that i have both styles okay this one and for the grade break points i will just put z for uh, to to identify this okay so that's it and another thing that we're gonna do is i will go to the first display display here and then i will just uh, scroll down and say levels at the grade break point i will enable and then another thing that i will enable here is ticks at grade break point okay okay and you see levels at major increment maybe we can keep it and we don't put it like that um okay that will not uh, make a difference if i just disable it okay and then major increments these these we can disable i don't need the ticks at major intervals okay with this being done we go to our band properties band details here and custom levels uh it's going to be the proposed elevation so i'll just keep it like that and for the major increment i will just remove this particular compose click on the compose level and then there will be a dialog so we just uh, i just remove this okay and say okay here so i don't have any major increment in the minor increment we don't have any here okay we don't have we have center data i think uh, we, we need it to keep we just need to keep it okay okay it's, uh, it's here we need to just keep it and you can right now see the bands the at at the uh the grid break points are visible like the ticks are visible okay that's it Okay, I'm gonna keep this and then um, what I'm gonna do is simple not, not at this the grade break points. I think don't have anything here also. Okay, don't have we just verify it and then go to the grade break points and click on compose level. Here, first thing I will do is reduce the size of the ticks. I think it's 0.5. It was 0.5 for others as well. I just keep it like that and go to the compose level and here and here I will add a text. Okay text here i will level it maybe i will say it as a uh, grade break level level okay i'll keep it like that and i would say so we have to limit the band band middle and then uh, for the contents i will just edit it so click on it and edit uh, i will just select the level text and uh, what we need is elevation okay i will just do section one elevation or we can just adjust it in our band okay so with this being said, we just click on this arrow to get the uh, code for this section and say, okay. And then another thing we do is this one is I think 0.5 for our settings. That's for our settings and everything rest is same. And we can see a preview here. Okay. Okay. So this one you see, it's like this. So maybe it's better if we can rotate it. Okay. As this is aligned like that. So I just click on this and then say 90, so rotate it, okay, rotate it like that, and say okay. And say okay to this one as well and say okay, and say apply. Okay, so here you see you only have three 
points available and it's actually the ends okay why is that it's because of here you see the wigging is 100 set to 100 okay so what we do is just make it to the center and say apply now uh let's check which uh, level is checked here which level we have this particular let's, let's click on the section one is section one is this one tutorial corridor i can say this one is top or bottom it's not uh it's top okay let's select uh, this one it appears to be the bottom i think this one is the top okay so let's say apply okay let's check if it's top or bottom so uh really we cannot distinguish we can distinguish it here so it's like nine seven nine seven is the top and you see there are two points here okay but that means it's bottom the bottom bottom surface would go like this so here it has two points and this is exactly on the same spot okay so it means it's the bottom level so i just click on this and here and then again select the level so it's already 383 right selected 383 so i will select the second one and then say okay 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 now we have the top level okay you see now we have levels at the grid break point the problem that we have that we faced earlier as well here is it's now overlapping on each other you see they are very close the grid break points but these are these are very close and that's why it's overlapping but this case also what you can do is just select uh, select our band and then we can actually uh, not group properties but the section view properties and what we can do is we can stagger them also okay weeding we have kept to point this one or we can just have like uh, if we if you just put it like point one maybe uh, then others will be clear or which one you want to just which one is important for you just keep keep them and rest you can just remove okay so it, it will be clear like this you see as you see at the bottom this is more clear like this another way you can handle it just keep just keep it zero and then we can just say stagger on both sides and you see this is the default five it will be very big let's see see it's very big but it shows where your level you know where, which one is which level it's like this it shows like this so this is one of solution uh maybe we can reduce the length and we're staggering on both sides so we can reduce the height this this stagger line height uh to maybe two and say apply and it's it's better yeah feasible uh, it's better better so or or maybe we can keep it like one let's say we can just experiment and keep it like that and we have to actually go to the other um other sections also when we apply to see if it's feasible so these are the two solutions and you can view it like that okay so for me uh what i will do is i just need important points uh, so i just uh will this will with the cross section three properties and what i will do is i will just uh, not stagger it and i will just keep the width to point 0.15 maybe 0 0.15 0.15 i'll just it like that and say apply uh, it like that. It's, it's still interfering with them so what you can do is even you can manually adjust them okay so there's an option first before manually adjusting them we have to check where the dragged option uh is uh, correctly correctly adjusted to um the settings of the dragged option it's fine so we just select the section and then go to the section view properties and here uh if you go to again our style for this at grade point and edit it and then go to the grade breaks and say compose level and here if you go to the drag the state the size of the text arrowhead we can reduce 0.5 again and this one also we can say like 0.5 and the border and gap uh, maybe we can keep it like zero okay and uh this one ground mask and other things middle attachment is middle and other things uh, okay attachment maybe yeah let's keep it middle no problem uh these i will keep it as it is and say okay as a stick test or 
or, or display the stack this is better okay and we can see a uh, preview here as well uh, we don't have a preview actually for this okay and say okay and okay and say apply okay now what i can do is i can just drag this particular text when you just click on these it has grips and then i can just drag these grips i can say this one is how much how much okay and then i can actually individually you know move it and reset it back okay so i can just move it like that like that okay and another thing i can do is is you know break this like that okay and what i can do further is further customization that i can do here is um you know uh let, let's go to the cross section and go to the cross section properties and again we edit our style here and go to the edit and then grade breakpoint and compose level and here in the drag state go to the drag state and what i can do is as composed okay not stack this as composed okay display as composed I will put it like as composed and say okay and say, okay and say okay and then apply okay so now what you, you will see is you see let, first let's reset this so you just click on this and it will reset okay and now I can just drag it a little bit and say this one is the text for this particular obviously this is not a, a very efficient method like because when you have a thousands of cross sections hundreds of cross sections then it's not a uh, efficient method however this is also one of the options that's what i demonstrated so what we can do is for offset we can do it where exactly it is okay so we click on it and get to the bigger properties our uh, well, not bigger properties but now we are doing for section this section only so we go here and then i will just edit this and select this z and then i will say copy Current selection and we will at grid points. I'm taking the offset, okay? So I will just tutorial offset at grid point Z, okay? So like that, I will say. And then uh, I will go to the grid break points and then I have to edit it because this is a offset, okay? So go to grid break point and then what is being display It's not level, you can change this one also, no problem, but I'll just keep it like that. So right now, it's just for demonstration purpose and this one from offset from center line okay say so i'll just select these and say offset from center line and click on the arrow this will replace it code and say okay and okay and okay okay and then uh it's already there everything so i'll say apply and again you see the problem here so what we do is this one to zero okay and say apply or exactly the same as this one so we know where it is okay so this is how you get the elevations offset at grid break point as a band display for cross section so that's all for this video guys see you guys in the next video have a great time